This is the Schmo with the pro with the UFC welterweight champion, Kamaro Usman. We're here at the Hall of Fame Red Carpets. How we doing? Doing good. I'm feeling great. Well, you got the schmo at the very end, man. You already talked your ear off over there. Yeah, man. You know, I had to go on and talk to all the big, important guys, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Saving the least important <laughs> guy for last. That's what it seems like. No, I'm just like. kidding. No, man, it's, uh, you know, it's a role here of all these important reporters. So, you know, I'm glad to be able to come down here and, uh, you know, get an interview. So the most important question everyone's asking you, first reaction when Kobe Covington took the fight with Robbie Lawler? I mean, it, it is what it is. Um... I don't think that necessarily was just his choice. You know, I think, uh, you know, a lot goes into just making a fight. It's not just everyone thinks it's just a fighter saying yes or no. No, that's not necessarily the case. We fight for an organization that makes a lot of those decisions. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, maybe he needed money. You know, he hadn't fought for over a year. Maybe he had some outside things going on that forced him to take the fight. But, you know, everyone knows I wanted that fight. But it is what it is. He might still have the fight. The fight's not, not all's not lost. He's fighting in a couple of weeks. So it is what it is. You know, we'll see who's next for me. And your big brother, Rashad Evans, getting the nod into the Hall of Fame, man. Feelings and emotions and thoughts. Yeah, feeling good. Um, I think uh, we've always had that type of relationship. It's, uh, you know, he, he's always trying to one-up one another. You know, he was the ultimate fighter champion. I was the ultimate fighter champion. He was a UFC champion. Now I'm a UFC champion. Now he had to go and get the Hall of Fame. So, you know, now I have something else to shoot for. Do you expect to face the winner of Jorge Masvidal and Ben Askren? No, I don't expect anything because, you know, we've all been told a lot of different things. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. You know, this is not just my decision. You know, there's a, the company that has to make the decision that's best for them. And so, uh, you know, uh, it's not just my decision. I don't expect anything. You know that by the time when I'm ready to fight, they're going to find me somebody worthy. So if Dana White wanted you to run it back with Tyron Woodley, you would? Absolutely. I don't pick my fights. I don't, I don't care. I've never picked my fights. It's just now I'm in a position to where I'm able to get the next fight and not have to get on social media and whine and beg and try to, you know, create something out of thin air. I'm the champion. They got to come to me. Lastly, we'll get you out of here on this. What's your one message for all the Kamaru Usman fans worldwide? One message is just, you know, I'll be back in there real, real soon. You know, I've um, since I got in here, I've always been about not picking my fights. I don't care who it is. I've always been about going in there and dominate completely from start to finish. And that's what I aim to do, and not just in the octagon, but also in life. And headline the UFC pay-per-view in Africa, the Nigerian nightmare? Absolutely. You know, we have that. I believe we have the infrastructure to be able to do it. And, you know, with myself, and my, you know, my, my countryman, Israel Adesanya, and, you know, the big man, Francis Ngannou, Sadiq Youssef, Razak al Hassan. It doesn't matter. We've got a ton of talent coming out of Africa right now. So, you know, we can do it. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. We're out.